Welcome to part two of this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of work in the style of Hattie Stewart. And I have already shown you in part one how to create the heart that is in her work. And now we're going to move on to um, other features. Starting with the beard, um, I'm going to turn my beard into one big shape and then do the lips over the top. So I'm going to choose the pen tool and I'm going to use the colour swatches to turn them both to blue. And I am going to use the pen tool to click and drag to get curves. I'm doing this much quicker than you should um, for the sake of the video. But I click and then drag to get the curve. And then click and then drag to get a curve. And I can curve in and out, in and out to get a nice shape. And then back to the beginning and just curve that off. And then now I'm happy with it. I'm going to right click and rasterize the layer. Turns it into a basic shape rather than a live one. And I'm just going to reshape that, make it a bit bigger. Right. Okay. That's all good. Now I'm going to do the lips, so I'm going to get the pen tool again and I'm going to be drawing the lips here. And so just pen, drag to make the curve, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. And you just keep doing that. Taking a bit more time over this one because it's a important shape. I've got to get the lips right. There we go. Okay. And then I need to sort out the color of this shape. So I'm going to go up to the swatches and grab that pink and the same for the outer line need to grab it from there so i'm just going to grab that one click there and it turns the swatch to the color i need and you can't see it because i need to bring this layer up there you go now you can see that and now i'm just going to resize it get the arrow tool just move it resize it to where i want it to be Okay, and then right click, rasterize, turn that into a basic shape as well. And pen tool again, this time I'm going to do the tongue. So I want a lighter pink. Okay. And again, this is a important shape, so take your time. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Just go all the way around the shape. Okay, getting it pretty much how you want it. And then going back to the first point, one last little drag. Okay, now I'll just rasterize that and I'll just show you how you can now manipulate it to get it perfect. Um, the great thing, see that it's a bit lumpy there. So I'm going to mask off just that bit. The great thing about the transform, edit, transform, warp tool is that it only transforms the bit that you've masked off. So if this bit is lumpy, or I want to just make it a little less prominent, bring that down a bit, I can. And it all changes within that mask. So that's quite handy. Now I've done that, I'm going to just change some aspects of the whole tongue. So let's just zoom out a bit. And I'm just going to put my mask over the tongue, and then edit 
transform warp again and you'll see the handles appear again and this is going to allow me to just move those handles about to round out the bottom of the tongue um, and make the um, bottom a little bit more rounded and the side a little bit more curved okay once you're happy with that then we're just going to add um, a line into it so I need no fill so the X and I need black for my line okay and we're gonna go zoom in a bit so we can see it I'm gonna go from that central ridge there and just click and drag to get the curve that we want okay then right click rasterize that that's all good and then we'll get the pen again and we're going to put a line there click and drag and then again once we're happy with that i'm just going to nudge it down a little bit there we go all good then i'm going to right click that and rasterize and that is my mouth and tongue done okay so what I'm going to do, like I did with the heart in the last part of the tutorial, I'm going to grab the lips and the tongue, select them all, right click and merge layers so they are all their own thing. And that's going to enable me now to just, with all of it, just reposition it if I want. So it's perfect. Okay. Right. Next thing, eyebrows. Okay, different way of making a shape for you this time. And that's make sure you've got a new layer and use the polygonal lasso tool to click around the eyebrow. Again, I'm going way fast for the purposes of the tutorial. Then I'm gonna choose the same blue by clicking on the blue, go to the paint bucket and fill in that eyebrow, okay? Then I'm going to do the same polygonal lasso tool, go round the other eyebrow and then paint bucket and fill. Okay, and that's my eyebrows done. All right, last thing I want to show you in this part of the tutorial is how to create a background that kind of looks like it's radiating from me. So I'm going to grab the magic wand and I'm going to select the background around me and I'm going to press delete and that's going to get rid of the background. Okay. And I'm then going to just click the mask off so I don't have a mask and then double click on that layer and it's going to open up the layer styles and I'm going to go to stroke. Okay. And I'm going to change the color to black. Click OK. And I'm going to make it nice and chunky. And you'll see it also shows some little blemishes that didn't get deleted from the background. But don't worry, I can get rid of those. I'm just going to get the rectangular select tool and highlight them and press delete. Highlight, press delete, highlight, press delete. OK. Now, what you don't see next is me right clicking on that same layer and going to rasterize um, because Screencastify and me recording it didn't pick it up, but I did do that. And now I'm going back to then double clicking and choosing another color, in this case white, clicking OK. And that gives me another white stroke. And you see, this is what you should have seen me right clicking and rasterizing and then double clicking again and stroke and this time I'm going to choose a blue color there we go click OK click OK and again right click rasterize and then double click stroke and change the color to black, click OK, 
I'm just going to keep doing this. Right click, rasterize, double click, stroke, choose white, click OK, click OK, right click, rasterize, double click, stroke, Choose blue, click OK, click OK, right click, rasterize, double click, stroke, choose the black, click OK, click OK, and then last time, because I've got close to the edge, right click, rasterize, Double click, stroke, go to the color, choose white, click OK, and just to make it go to the edge in the corner there, I've upped the thickness, click OK, and that is all of the background sorted now. Okay, last thing I want to do is just make my portrait a little bit more saturated. So I'm going to go image adjustments, hue saturation, and just pop up the saturation a bit. Whoa, that's a bit too much. Just to make myself a little bit more colorful. Click OK. And that is the end of the second part of this tutorial. Join me again in part three.